Welcome back. Let us begin the Fibonacci number with a very classic problem that is rabbit's population. Here I have let us assume a pair of baby rabbit one male and female and they are very special type rabbit and special because they will never die and uh, the female one gives birth to uh, one pair of rabbit exactly every month while the speciality is every pair that she give birth have one male and one female so uh, this is the uh, rabbit we have assumed and this rabbit is going to give birth to one pair after one month and that pair will be having another uh, uh, rabbit one male and one female and what so surprising is that the next pair that that is just born will be able to reproduce after one month and then again those rabbits will follow the same rule so uh, let me show you what exactly will happen once uh, we start giving it uh, this way so So, we have just seen uh, what exactly mathematically happening over there. 
let us see uh, this exact phenomenon uh, mathematically so if I categorize the first month here and uh, the first month we begin with one pair of rabbit in the second month we have added one more pair then in the third month something surprising happened and what happened was in the third month we added two pairs one pair was given by this first original pair while the second was given by the second born pair now coming to the fourth month and our basic counting tells us that in in this fourth month the total number of pair that we will be having is 1 is 1 plus 2 so that means if we add the previous two months numbers and put it back for the fourth month it is okay that means in our fourth month we are having three pairs can you guess what will happen in the fifth month yes absolutely in the fifth month it is going to be 2 plus 3 and that is making it 5 on the sixth month it is 5 plus 3 and then it becomes 8 while on the seventh month it is sum of the previous two months that is 8 plus 5 and 8 plus 5 makes it 13 this this sequence is very interesting because if I generalize it for any number x n considering the population of rabbit in the nth month then it is going to be x n minus 2 plus x n minus 1 this is exactly telling us that number of rabbits population in any month is equal to the sum of rabbits population of the previous month with the sum of population of previous to the previous month means when we add the the population of previous two months will get the population of current month this is a classic example of Fibonacci sequence the sequence is called Fibonacci sequence we'll see some more properties of these Fibonacci sequence in our subsequent lectures.